Hello, my name is Samir Islam, and today I want to review with you guys some information on gastritis and gastropathy. So as an outline, we will first talk about some of the definitions, what exactly is gastritis and gastropathy. We'll talk about the different types of gastritis and gastropathy as well. Then lastly, we'll go over the pathophysiology. Now, the good thing about gastritis and gastropathy is that there are not a lot of questions on your board exam, on your tests concerning this. And so there's not too much information that you have to know, but the information we will go over is stuff that I'm sure will be tested on and it's important for you guys to know what those are. So let's define what gastropathy is. So gastropathy is defined as epithelial damage with minimal or no inflammation. So what this means is that you have inflammation on the very top layer of the GI tract with very minimal or no inflammation that's seen there. So you have very small inflammatory cells that are seen whenever you look at the histology of patients who have gastropathy. There are a lot of ideologies from this, and this includes alcohol, stress, and the most, inco most common cause are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. If you take a look at this picture here, this is a picture of somebody who took non-steroidal anti-inflammation medications. You see superficial damage that's seen uh, on the stomach wall, and when you take biopsies of this, you, you see minimal or no inflammation within the histology. When we talk about gastritis, however, this is inflammation associated with mucosal injury, and so there is damage seen on histology. The most common causes are H. pylori and autoimmune diseases, including pernicious anemia. But by far and by large, H. pylori is the most common cause of gastritis. And here you can see a picture of a H. pylori gastritis in which you see a lot of inflammation seen. There's also mucosal injury seen on histology as well. So when we take a look at the two entities, gastropathy and gastritis, the main difference between the two is that gastropathy has minimal or no inflammation, whereas gastritis has mucosal injury that's seen there. But most importantly, a biopsy is necessary to distinguish between both gastropathy and gastritis. So we'll see a lot of people who say they have gastritis or gastropathy, but in actuality, the only way to diagnose that is with biopsy, and that's when you see the damage between the two, which will help you distinguish whether you have gastritis or gastropathy. And so we take a look at the histology for gastritis, you see chronic inflammation, so you see inflammatory cells that are seen within the biopsy. You have increased lymphocytes or plasma cells within the lamina propria, which is the first layer that's seen, and that's a marker for active inflammation. You may see activity in which you'll see neutrophils that are seen. You also may have glandular atrophy, in which you have prolonged mucosal damage. And so if you have an insult to the stomach lining and that insult continues, you will have glandular atrophy that will occur, which can eventually form into what's called intestinal metaplasia. And this is when you have evidence of chronicity in which you have globulin cells that are seen. And that's a precancerous etiology, which we'll talk about later on within this lecture. But most importantly about gastritis is that you'll have chronic inflammation that's seen there. You should see inflammatory cells, including plasma cells or lymphocytes. Now, there are different types of gastritis and gastropathy depending on how you want to ca characterize this. The Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure that you like, subscribe, and share this video. Like it if you like it. If you don't like it, then don't like it. And then uh, subscribe if you want more videos. We upload uh, videos regularly. So if you su subscribe to the channel, you can get a notification and the video will appear in your inbox. And if you hit the uh, bell button as well, then you can get the notifications for this as well.